Hey everybody, it's Grant, and today we are gonna be talking about how we collected 100% of all of our rents during this entire illness and quarantine, as well as took care of our tenants along the way. As you saw in our last video, we have now hit over 1,500 subscribers, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate each and every one of you for all the comments, all powering up that like button and also hitting that subscribe button to stay here and watch our journey to 100 units. Be honest with you, when it all comes down to it, it means so much to me. And so being that it does, we are going to have another $100 giveaway for a lucky commenter. So the comment bowl is getting a, a little bit more full and we just keep adding to it every single time. So don't worry, regardless of when I pull it, your comment always counts. So we were gonna pull a lucky winner to give a $100 gift card to, whether it be Apple Pay, PayPal, or a gift card, and also a signed letter from me just showing you how much I very much appreciate you and all the support you show the channel. And once again, thank you to everybody who I see commenting time and time again on the channel. It means so much to me to see you on there. I, I almost can tell you the first five comments I'm gonna have on every single video, and I respond to every single one, so if you have any questions, please, Comment them below. So now that we've covered the contest, good luck, and I cannot wait to see who wins. So let's get into the video. In today's video, we're actually gonna be talking about how we collected 100% of our rents during this illness, as well as the actual quarantine itself. The way we did this is by showing respect, checking on our tenants, and to make sure that we had a huge understanding of what was going on. So the reason for this video is for you aspiring landlords and current landlords, we're gonna show you how to communicate better with your tenants, also to show pretty much how to let them know you're on their side as well as be able to collect your rents even during a once in a lifetime or once every hundred year event. So as I said in this video we're gonna have a few key points on how to better communicate with your tenants as well as keep that relationship strong no matter how hard the economic time as well as to be able to collect 100% of your rent during these terrible events. So before all of the madness actually started, before they ever closed any of the restaurants, bars, casinos, or any other businesses around town, we actually issued a text to our tenants. So just as soon as things really started to get mainstream to where we actually knew something was coming, you know, Facebook had it, the uh, TV had it, and we were still kinda, as Americans, we're skeptical, like is this thing serious, is it not? And so at that point when I started to feel that this was more serious and that a shutdown was imminent, I sent out a text to my entire uh, portfolio, all my tenants, and I, and I just let them know a few health tips that we also shared at the dealership that I work at, as well as that I cared, I was here for them, and that there would be a discount coming during the month of March. The following week, we actually typed up a letter and sent it out to our tenants. Now, this letter was very similar to the text, but just way more thought out and thorough. What we ended up doing was typing up this letter explaining that there would not be any evictions as well as no late fees during this time. However, because this is a business and because they do live in this property and I need to keep it up and maintain it, their prompt payment would be absolutely appreciated. Now, also in this letter, I gave everybody which at the time we had 19 tenants, a $200 discount. Now this is before a lot of people even really took this seriously. And I know in the earlier message, in the earlier part, I said uh, a discount for March. That's when I sent the text. So this is actually gonna be a discount sent out in March for April. April's when we started doing the discounts. And when you take 19 properties times $200, that's a $3,800 discount across the board for all of our properties and we didn't pick if it was the nicer or if it was my, uh, my C-class properties, we just discounted them overall to make sure our tenants knew two things. One, we're here for them, and two, we care. So as I said, the letter and the discount were designed to do a few things. The first thing, as I said, was to show them that we cared. The second thing was designed to show them that we had a huge understanding to what was going on during this time. Not only did it affect us, but we definitely know it affects them. So when it all comes down to it, we wanted to do those things as well as give them a discount to help them out during these hard or getting to be hard economic times. Also, we wanted to make sure that maybe if they understood that we're here for them now during the tough times, they'll stay with us during the good times. So another thing that we ended up doing was making sure that our communities knew we cared. 
not only did we take care of our tenants during this time, but we also made sure that we took care of the local nurses and medical staff in Texas and my Sugarland community, as well as Lake Charles, my Lake Charles community. So what ended up happening is my store at Main Squeeze ended up giving a 50% discount for the past two months to all medical responders or medical staff. On top of that, we ended up going to local hospitals and passing out hundreds of dollars of juice in Main Squeeze general vicinity to make sure that those nurses and doctors and anyone in the profession very much understood that we cared. Also in Lake Charles, Louisiana, we gave away over 400 dinners to the local nurses just to let them know if we're on that respirator or anyone that we love or anyone in general in the Calcasieu Parish area, we want you to know that we appreciate you. So on top of all those other things, we ended up also giving away uh, three cases of hand sanitizer. What ended up happening was we went and passed it out uh, during uh, a time where there was no hand sanitizer to be found and still roughly hard to find, uh, definitely no Lysol. So to everyone who went out and bought up all the Lysol, you, you stopped me from doing a good thing because I couldn't find any anywhere. I tried. But what we ended up doing was going to a local brewery, brewery, buying three cases because they switched over from making purely alcohol to alcohol and hand sanitizer, which they're hand sanitizer smelt like alcohol, but it's, it's the thought that counts. So we passed it out to all of our neighbors, all of our tenants and a few businesses and a few friends along the way. And it was a lot of fun. And Hey, during that time, what better could you buy? I feel like it was better than gold. During the month of April, we were smack dab in the middle of quarantine. And I decided absolutely I was going to give my tenants another discount. Uh, but I decided to turn it up a notch. And so we ended up going for a $300 discount. Now understand, not only did that $300 discount help out our tenants, but it also made it harder on me because when you take $300 times all the units that we have, it's $5,700. I don't know about you, but in one month, could you give that to somebody without just batting an eye? Now understand, I have done a lot of things right, put a lot of money down and made sure my deals were all within my model. But I'm not going to lie, these Quarantine times stressed me out probably more than it stressed my tenants out. When it all comes down to it though, I thought it was a great way to show them I'm in their corner, I care, and I'm here for them, especially when times get tough. A huge pro tip that I have for you in this video is it's not always about the bottom line. Just because you want to raise rents to above market value, that, that type of principle is not really what my rentals are about. I like to be under market value, uh, not a lot, but I like to be, uh, my favorite movie is the American gangster. I want to have the absolute best price and the absolute best product. And that way it takes care of itself. I want people to have a waiting list to get into my property. So understand by giving discounts and doing these things, I want to show my tenants and also for my employees, we make sure that we didn't lay anybody off. We didn't do anything of the sort. We took care of who matters first, the people that take care of us. So what ended up happening is if you show your employees, if you show your tenants that you're in their corner, if they know they have a good landlord, a good boss, somebody that's going to take care of them when times are tough, nonetheless, when times are great, they will stay with you longer, whether it's an employee or a tenant. The reason I even bring this up is because I had one of the coolest things happen during this time. I had a lot of messages telling me that they really appreciated the discounts nurses, all these other people, but my tenants in, in, in particular sent me messages just like, Hey, I really appreciate this helping out more than you know. And when it comes down to it, I had one message above all. This is a young man who has been, uh, renting from me for only about four months. So basically he moved in and then I discounted his rent. So how crazy is that? I just bought a property. He just moved in and he got a discount right off the bat. I mean, it, it, when his year comes up, I don't want that money back. It was just a gift to him. And this is what he told me. And now this is a little, little at the end of all this, but at the last discount I gave him, right? The very last one I'm going to tell you in this video, he goes, I want to tell you something. He's like, you know, when me and you've had our talks, cause I've, I've introduced him to Dave Ramsey. I've talked to him about all these other people to go watch and view. And I'll do that for anybody that ever asks me as long as they're willing to listen. And so he saved his emergency fund before this happened. Uh, he got laid off during this time, but his fiance is a nurse. And so what he told me made me feel really happy that, and, and understand all this was worth it. He says, Grant, during this time, not only, he says, money definitely got tight. He said, but because of your discounts, I was able to keep my emergency fund this whole time 
kept replenishing it during this whole time, even when I was out of work for 30 days. Now he's back at work, his wife's back at work, everybody's back at work full time. Their emergency fund is in full force. And guess what? His savings, his principles, right? And his willingness to be better are all stronger because of this event. And that's what this channel is all about. So in June, I gave my tenants an additional $200 in discounts. Now, the reason we raised it from $300 all the way up to $200 was because now we were getting back to normal. Everything was opening back up or at least the new normal. You know, when it comes down to it, this $200 was designed to give my tenants a little bit more breathing room in their budget, a little bit more food on the table, or just to give them a little bit more comfort while they got back to work. Now, keep in mind, 95% of my tenants never missed any work. Lake Charles is full of industry, which never got shut down, car dealerships, which never got shut down, and a lot of large businesses that you see everywhere around that also never got shut down. The only thing that I actually had was a few um, casino workers, because casinos got shut down, but luckily, three of the four actually work in HR, which stayed open and they were stay steadily getting paid. And when you take that $200 times all of our properties, it gives us another $3,800 in discounts that we gave to our tenants and it adds to the overall total. Another thing that we had happen during this time was we had three tenants leases come due and they moved out, two of which bought a home and the other one moved out of state to go work at a, a better job opportunity. So what ended up happening was I was worried that people wouldn't want to leave their homes, move during this quarantine when you're supposed to be staying home as much as possible. So what I did was I ran three really aggressive specials and made sure that I wouldn't have those units sitting vacant because that would really hurt during this hard economic time as well as all the discounts that I'm giving. So what did I end up doing was getting them rented in just 10 days on average. And what happened was I ran a special for $700 per month for the first three months. And that unit normally goes for $1,200 a month. So that's a $500 discount per month. That's absolutely huge. And what ended up happening, and I was already running a discount on top of that, so I'm not doing that now. I'm doing the actual math of what it would be normally. So by $1,500 discounts on all three of those units, we got them filled in, like I said, just 10 days. And that added another $4,500 to our discounts for this quarantine. And we just gave our tenants an additional discount this month in July. So we just put out the letter just the other day and we gave everybody a hundred dollar discount and we've gotten pretty much everybody but three that have already paid and gotten everything taken care of. And you know, my average collection date has been about the 10th. Uh, so it just kind of goes to show you that it might not be the first or the fifth or the third, but by the 10th, everybody's pretty much got in. And I do sometimes, have a few that'll partially pay me to the point where I'll get it about the 15th or the 20th. But still, the point is they are 100% paid by the 30th or the 31st, and it makes things a lot easier even though I am giving discounts. It's not a big deal because I know that this is gonna make lifelong renters for me. Now also, during this month, we gave that discount to an extra unit that you'll hear about in the future. We are no longer at 19 properties, but we are at 20. And as I told you in the last video, we also have a duplex that is nearing completion and we might have some good news with that because it's gonna be finished pretty soon and I can't wait to share it with you just like we did the remodel video. So that brings this part of the total all the way to $2,000 for this month and when you add all that up, especially with all the things that we've done for the community, during this time, it puts the total well over $20,000. I don't know about you, but I am ready to see who has now won our $100 gift card as well as a signed letter by me just showing you how much I appreciate you. We're also going to do another giveaway at 2,000 subscribers, so please share this video out. Please let people know that I give back to my viewers as well as my community, and I would very much like to show you properties, how to do personal finance, and we're going to get into personal growth. So when I get into goal setting and all those other things, those are my absolute best subjects. And I train hundreds and hundreds of people a year at the dealership that I work at. So I think you're going to get a lot of great information out of it. So let's see who our winner is. If it ends up being Graham, which this is, this is 100% real. If it ends up being Graham, I'm going to send him a hundred dollars Starbucks gift card. So I'm just putting that out there because Graham, uh, Stefan, a YouTuber with 2 million subscribers, a fantastic amount of content comments on here quite a bit. All right. It's never not good without a drum roll. All right. Let's see here. Let's get it. Let's get it nice and mixed. Mix it up. 
All right. All right. Let's pick. Go, going in. All right. This one. Uh, Sempose Fitness. S E M P O S E Fitness. Uh, it's very informative video. Glad you posted the link on Facebook. Subbed. I look forward to hearing more about this deal and others. So I will put your comment right here and we'll zoom into it in just a second. And uh, I appreciate your comment and thank you for tuning in. That's it for the video guys. Congratulations to our lucky commenter and subscriber for winning the $100 gift card or Apple Pay depending on where you live. I'd love to mail it to you, but I can always email it to you. Thank you for watching. Please power up that like button as well as hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. It'll tell you and alert you anytime that we post. We post every Wednesday at three and Friday at noon. Also comment anything you liked out of this video and to win after we get to our 2,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you have a fantastic afternoon and I will see you on the next one.